Um, my pleasure to introduce Sean Petico from Lumiere Technology, who's going to describe their work in advanced digitization of fine art. Thank you, Carl. Thank you for coming. Um, my name is Jean Penico. I am the CEO of uh, Lumiere Technology. We are uh, originally a uh, uh, manufacturer of uh, um, RGB and GIS um, high definition scanning systems. And uh, we uh, sell uh, cameras uh, with a resolution at 240 million pixels and uh, with a geometry uh, certification of 12 microns for large format for digitizing archive. That was our former uh, business. And uh, we uh, have uh, uh, customers as the Western Michigan University, uh, the French uh, Land Cadastre Authority, or uh, for RGB, uh, we have the Library of Congress in Washington, uh, the Washington, Washington State Archives in Olympia, and uh, we uh, deliver some uh, uh, machines in museums and uh, uh, some newspaper too, and prestigious institutions, uh, as um, uh, also. Uh, the library uh, of Kong, uh, the Archive of Canada in o Ottawa, and uh, the Canton de Genève in Geneva. So uh, we uh, sell now a service which is totally uh, different uh, over uh, a new technology uh, with multispectral scanner. So. Um, we scan in public and private collection with the highest definition never obtained before, 240 million true pixels, an accuracy never obtained, never, never before, with a special uh, technique. Um, uh, digital um, public and private collections uh, with the highest resolution. So uh, we come uh, to museums and we scan uh, with this uh, 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 Jumbo Lux and Jumbo Line patented system uh, camera, um, digital artwork. This is the scan of the La Vie de Picasso to the um, Cleveland Museum of Art. And uh, you see the uh, white true uh, ray who is passing 13 times on the canvas and we share the, the light and the answer of the pigment um, from UV to infrared uh, at this definition. So we obtained 13 files and uh, that give us by a reconstruction and uh, uh, resizing uh, an amazing images with uh, 1.6 gigabytes of data. And uh, uh, we obtained this one. With this definition. And uh, because we have a measurement and not uh, just a representation, we have also behind this image the knowledge of this image with the infrared, with the same definition. And the state of art of all the restoration and the cracks and the varnish and uh, the pigment analyze, etc. So this is the most powerful tool for study history of art. So. Uh, we can also browse this kind of images online. So I want to show you now how we uh, made with Mona Lisa. So we obtained with this camera 13 pictures from UV to infrared, sharing the light, um, all the 40 nanometers. We have UV, it is in invisible here, and you have the infrared here, who are also invisible. And we reconstruct after that the images to give you uh, the perfect uh, color of the painting. That give you this resolution. So that was the digital scan of Mona Lisa in the Louvre. Uh, uh, two years ago with the research laboratory of uh, French museums. And so you have the ability to see uh, each detail and in each pixel you have the spectrum of the pigment of the bind and of the varnish used by uh, the, uh, the painter. So it is an incredible tool for knowledge studying 
reproduction, curating, uh, and uh, as you want. And it is a measurement, so we can follow the evolution uh, for a very long time of all the screens and the print, uh, printing process, ink, papers, etc., to obtain the perfect gamut. The gamut is the memory uh, you have in your mind of the perception of the color, and we cover 97% of the gamut as RGB 55. RGB is just a representation because when you digitize something with RGB on Photoshop, after that you adjust the digitization uh, as you feel uh, at this time. With our measurement, never we correct. It's always a scientific measure, and we can compare on the same basis uh, paintings. So this is Mona Lisa, as you can see her, actually, uh, in, uh, the, in, uh, the, behind the glass in the Louvre. But also, we have the knowledge of this painting with all his, uh, rest its restoration. Uh, and you can see by this infrared false color process, totally automatically generated when we construct the, the, the painting, you have uh, the exact um, uh, uh, abilities to see uh, the differences of the pigments. This is here azurite and here is lapis lazuli. You can see with an, a very good precision all the cracks and all the restoration in, uh, in violet. You can see also the under drying uh, 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 under the, the infrared here. You, she has moved uh, her hand. And uh, you can see also a cover, a fear cover she has on uh, her knee. I'm sorry I am unable, as the Canadian explained to us, I am unable to tell you that she was pregnant. I don't know. It's impossible for me to to give you this information, but what can I, what can I do is to, uh, to give you another information, very interesting, the true color of Mona Lisa. We have removed the varnish, and I will show you now how uh, from uh, this information, we have removed the varnish from uh, totally virtually uh, from the painting, uh, like uh, that. Sorry, I have to, to find. So, um, the pixel gives us, on the entire surface, the, uh, pig the pigment, the bind, and the varnish. And we have that on the entire surface of the painting. So, for this painting, we have 87 million pixels. And in each pixel, we have certain information. We give you the exact spectrum uh, uh, definition uh, of, the, of the varnish. Of the, of the painting and the varnish. So, um, we have decided to remove virtually the varnish by uh, first uh, an aging process uh, with uh, equivalent varnish used by Leonardo da Vinci. So, we aged it uh, for uh, 500 century by, uh, you know, special treatment. And uh, we uh, make, after that, uh, the... Uh, we the spectrum of each in each pixel. This is the blue one, and uh, the uh, spectrum of uh, the varnish is the pink one. So we subtract the pink one from the yellow one. Mathematically, it's uh, not exactly uh, uh, um, simple, but you know uh, we obtain the result of the yellow one, and we we verify on uh, uh, with the um, the, spectr the the pigment pure pigment here on the blue uh, light one and the average of that give you uh, this information from the original color to uh, the virtual restoration of mona lisa so what is totally new is that we can make that for any paintings we have uh, uh, digitized and this is the ultimate um, the ultimate um, a digital uh, uh, um, uh, capture systems for uh, fine arts. So um, now we can we can see uh, uh, on uh, so so uh, the, the the expert and uh, actually uh, the the first uh, uh, report on uh, the news magazine in France explained to people that now uh, we have the DNA of any painting we digitize. So here you see we have 18 million pixels of this uh, 
uh, informations and each pixel has this curve and this curve gives you the exact measurement of a painting for ever. So uh, now we, we are coming to see more um, more paintings. Uh, this one is uh, from uh, John James Audubon. Uh, is uh, from John James Audubon at the New York Historical Society. So you can see uh, with uh, all the details of the Royal Eagle of the uh, watercolor aquarellas from John James Audubon and from, with details, uh, very interesting details, you know, here with the drawing, etc. So what he is able to know is that we can browse inside a painting and online. So I can show you more uh, the great great from also the New York Historical Society. I can show you also uh, the famous pink flamingos that every uh, U.S. family has uh, in uh, at home, I think. But this, is, sorry, yeah. Uh, 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 what is interesting is that we have the true color, and uh, I have never seen in a shop uh, uh, the, 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 uh, the the true color. Uh, and uh, so you you have, you can see lots of details. Um, I can show you now uh, this one with the Menardi uh, that gives you lots of information of a technique with the Verdaccio. So you can see with this uh, uh, precision uh, how he put his stroke with uh, uh, pink and green. You can see also lots of details uh, in this canvas, or a panel, it is a panel. You know the little uh, uh, guy here, or some uh, uh, ghost uh, uh, here, uh, boat here, and you have also uh, wonderful uh, red and uh, gold details. Uh, very difficult to uh, obtain by a simple RGB. Um, we can see also um, uh, this interesting Georges de la Tour. And uh, what we see from this painting from the Museum of uh, Cherbourg is that we discover with our system uh, some uh, uh, little, uh, not mushrooms, you know, but uh, uh, thing, uh, uh, behind the, 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 the bind and the, the warnish who was very damaged for the, 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 the painting. So that was very easy to find. And, uh, Fungus, yes, yes, yes. Um, this is a Le Nain from private collection. And uh, uh, we can see also uh, more uh, from here with details. Um, this is a, a panel from my collection, uh, Quattrocento uh, period, so the same age. Uh, as uh, uh, Mona Lisa, and uh, we can see uh, the false color, so all the restoration and uh, uh, the state of these paintings, painting, and also the infrared in black and white. But you know, false color gives you uh, more information because uh, that gives you discrimination. So, um, I can show you also how we unvarnish a painting. So this is a panel from a, a Dutch painter. His name is uh, Van Delen. And uh, uh, you have uh, the false color infrared will give you details of the correction in the paintings at the same time. And also we can simulate the unvarnished painting uh, before restoration to just uh, uh, 
uh, evaluate uh, the restoration and uh, what uh, the work you have to, to 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 make. But you know, if you just see the underdrawing, uh, you see details from the original. I can show you now a Fragonard. This Fragonard is in a, a family a collection in Paris before to be donated to the Louvre. And uh, I have the infrared too. I love this painting because uh, uh, I hit in front of, I think, 100 times in my life. And uh, I've never seen as I, saw now, I see now, you know, with detail like here, you know, the little nuance of red here, and also details uh, of the, on the ends. So this is the new way for studying art. We can uh, see modern, uh, modern as um, ah, another one here with uh, Marie Antoinette. Uh, this is an interesting pastel and the study of this pastel with the infrared gives you details of the origin of this pastel and uh, confirm that from the UV and the infrared you have a difference. And the difference reveals that was the first pastel never made by Ducreux at the Austrian court. Uh, and uh, we know that uh, uh, the mother of the infant, Maria Antonetta, uh, refused the first one because she considers the first one was uh, too young. So it was not the idea of a fiancé that she, want, would, uh, she um, wanted to, to give to the old king of France. So uh, the infrared gives you this, this information, you know, if you compare, it is not the same portrait. So that gives you all the authentication of the painting. And uh, we have also some interesting discovery. Uh, a guy who came with this nice Angelus de Millet, he considered after a little study, he was a plumber in the south of France, a loving heart, as you and me. And uh, he bought that for, uh, uh, I think, 20 or 40 bucks. And uh, in his mind, he said, perhaps it is a nice copy of uh, Millet, who has copied Millet, and Van Gogh was uh, on the top list. So he, he sent uh, an, um, this picture, a picture to the Van Gogh Museum, and of course the Van Gogh Museum answered no. So he came to visit us and said, could you please scan this nice uh, uh, painting, because I am sure that perhaps we, are, we will discover something. The details of this painting give us some answer. Here you have something like Millet. And if we have the false color, that gives you d'après Millet. And the d'après Millet is exact, the exact scripturation of Van Gogh. And we know that he made this painting, and, and in the later he, he mentioned that he made it. So uh, uh, the guy now is coming to the Van Gogh Museum with the perfect file uh, we, we made for him with his brother inside and with uh, a nice copy, uh, printed copy, and uh, with uh, lots of information about the pigment definition of the painting and of the varnish. So for expertise, it is an incomparable tool. Um, lots of uh, nice things I can show you. Uh, this one too is uh, uh, supposed to be Van Gogh. He was from Van Gogh, Johanna's sister, uh, Van Gogh's sister, Johanna collection. But uh, once an expert told, uh, the signature was not from Van Gogh. So uh, uh, this painting was sold for 10, uh, 100 bucks, uh, I don't know where, in, in, in Netherlands. And uh, we, we, we scan it. And the details, it's totally incredible here. You know, this is a glaneuse. I don't know the, the name of a woman who, who is in the, in the country for uh, uh, that. But, you know, uh, look the detail. Also, uh, um, we can scan just uh, uh, aquarellas or uh, gouache, this is a Picasso, and uh, you have UV and infrared with the same, uh, the same uh, 
uh, knowledge and uh, I can show you more um, difficult uh, difficult little panel to, to see it is uh, a painting over another painting with over the other one it's difficult just by your eye and you can uh, uh, grow uh, inside this panel and uh, you have the false color who reveals that the portrait of the woman is upper the little man and the infrared will give you more information for the under drawing uh, um, uh, and uh, how he, he, he made this painting. Uh, it is perhaps a Picasso from the uh, very early period uh, in the Bateau Lavoir and it is perhaps the sister of uh, Picasso. Um, we can uh, see uh, this amazing Chagall. The most difficult for us is to is to to scan red because you know to, rest, to give you the nuance of red. It is uh, the, the the main difficulties for photographs. And so here you can see here all the uh, amazing nuance that this Prince of Color who was Chagall. Uh, uh, Made and we have also behind that all the infrared and all the study of the painting. And uh, uh, just for finish, um, this is a, a nice Renoir. You can find. Uh, see to the Museum of the Orangery and uh, you have also the false color will give you lots of information. Another big one, Renoir. Where is it? So we are online too, so it is uh, the totally new because we can share this information with everybody online and this is the reason why I'm, uh, I'm here. Because now, um, uh, now uh, we can have uh, this kind of visit of museums with this, uh, the same acuity and the same uh, uh, accuracy and the same definition. Um, so. Uh, the main difficulties for us is to come in, uh, in uh, museums for uh, digitization. And uh, uh, we have now uh, online from uh, our, uh, our uh, website, Lumière Technology, uh, capabilities to go and to browse exactly with the same definition that uh, two minutes before uh, on, on my computer. So uh, uh, it's very easy. It is actually just for PC and uh, uh, with Explorer. And, uh, but inside this nice painting, you have details as uh, this signature inside the body of the central um, uh, detail of the painting. So um, so you can see and uh, consult that on our website. For us, uh, uh, the analogy with Google Earth is uh, evident. Um, we use the same sensor to capture the image uh, from the satellite. We have the same approach, the same that, that uh, the team we visited in Purdue University, we invented the multispectral scan for uh, just uh, to see the state of art of the growth uh, and culture of corn paid and sponsored by Kellogg's. So we made them and they were uh, totally amazed by uh, the results they saw and they, they, they made lots of verification and to say that you are at the top of your technology too in front of a canvas. I was last week in Pasadena at the 34th uh, conference of the Museum Computer Network and uh, I met around 40 museums. I came also to the Gedi and um, um, the studio department last uh, Monday uh, with the top of the, technique, uh, of the technique of digitization and what they saw and what you see now uh, has changed their minds. 
Uh, now we have to come in museum to digitize our entire collections, hanged and stored, or more or less a long period. It depends on the time of the museum, and the time of a museum is not our time here on our business company. The most difficult, uh, difficulties is to take a painting, to unframe it, uh, to put it on a roll, and to bring it in front of the scanner. So we want to install in museums uh, multispectral rooms, and uh, uh, in 20 to 40 minutes, we will uh, digitize a painting, and we have uh, the equivalent time to reconstruct on uh, our quad uh, um, uh, computers. Uh, and we deliver at the same time uh, this result on any illuminant you want, because the beauty of that is that we have achieved the dream of Bill Gates. We have now the uh, abilities to put on your wall the exact uh, color of a painting in an, uh, under an illuminant you wish. If you want the illuminant of the, of, uh, the candlelight, as Leonardo uh, saw his uh, painting in his room, or if you want to see that because you are on bleed up and you have trouble for red and, 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 uh, and green, we can give you this information and uh, give this information on the screen as we want. So uh, the data uh, are stored on our server in the museum for studying with uh, uh, equivalence with our pigment databases because we made also lots of researches about pigments and also to keep the data, uh, to be sure that the data will be kept safely and uh, with always the same scientific protocol, the same scientific protocol. So when we talk with museum, all, then, all explain to us that they don't want to be to, to, to make as they, 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 they did and they made with Corbis uh, five or six years ago, uh, because Corbis were funded by Bill Gates or uh, uh, just in, in, in this uh, goal to put on the walls masterpieces of art. They want to keep the copyright of the image, and I understand that it's, it's, uh, 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 it's, I agree for that. Um, because the knowledge of this image, uh, we only, we just have this knowledge, not the museum, because we have the equivalence with the pigment databases. So the, what is important now is not the image, but the knowledge of the image. And uh, we can provide for comparison, studying, reproducing with the best quality this image. And this data, nobody except us, can uh, create value from them. What we want to do is to create a worldwide databases of pigments of the digital palette of painter around the world uh, by period, blue one, yellow, uh, pink one for Picasso, etc., etc. And uh, we think we can make that uh, in less than three years. After that, we will have such information that these next 20 years uh, will not suffer to study uh, them with all the uh, art department in uh, universities, yes? I mean, surely the copyrights on these things are old enough that they will not survive by now? Uh, uh, I'm co uh, I explained for the copyright after. Uh, you know, uh, uh, in fact, uh, actually, we have no legal uh, status for the pixel and the knowledge of the pixel. We know for the image, but we don't know behind the image. So uh, it's empty. We, we, ha we, have to, we have to create this new paradigm for legacy and, uh, and copyright. But you are allowed to freely redistribute the no. pictures that you've taken. What we want, we want to create a network with the museums to follow this knowledge and to share this knowledge with the museums. Um, we have in each painting the DNA of the painting. We have the true of the painting. So uh, uh, we can make lots of profit uh, from this knowledge and uh, uh, f for perhaps from this image, but also from something that doesn't exist now. Identification, comparison, e-publishing, posters, insurance uh, certification, ratings for sales, etc. We can create first a pay-per-view, the perfect pay-per-view system for dig uh, digital image. Uh, at uh, this definition. Uh, to visit virtual exhibition uh, after an event around a thema or a painter, you know, you have actually uh, 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 um, exhibition around the world, uh, three months in Chicago, three months in London, three months in Madrid or in Ottawa, 
And uh, after that, you just have a dirty book uh, with dirty colors to remember this amazing exhibition. Imagine the second life of this exhibition online with this accuracy, pay-per-viewed. You just have to pay and you can go in the amazing uh, Tiziano exhibition, Da Vinci exhibition, and uh, we, we can create this memory. Um, we can also, uh, uh, from this uh, ex virtual exhibition, create lots of uh, uh, derived products. Uh, posters, etc., with uh, a, a, a colorimetry uh, certification as uh, uh, the best printed uh, posters, and uh, you can order that uh, on the luminant you want. Uh, it is uh, an occasion to open uh, the value of such exhibition for people who can't travel at this time uh, and would appreciate to visit it. Uh, instead, to have uh, 300 visitors, uh, imagine the audience on the web, on, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, two, three years, uh, um, from uh, China, from uh, uh, Africa, India, or here, uh, America, uh, for people who never will go in Chicago, in Paris, to visit an exhibition. Such digitization should be also decreasing the insurance uh, rates from shipping by a better knowledge of the state of the paintings. I think the main, uh, the main, the master uh, word for uh, uh, this knowledge economy is sharing. We have to share, we have to share, we have to share. And uh, we can reinvent a new access of, uh, for fine arts and uh, uh, a new way for also sponsoring exhibition. And it's not here, I am in the mecca of the profit by advertising. And it's not here, I have to explain you that. But uh, imagine a visit of your museum with all the paintings like, uh, like that and uh, with uh, local advert and uh, uh, you know, uh, publishing advert, etc. So, and we can also, uh, uh, we can also change the manner of uh, patroning an exhibition. Uh, for Google, it will be a fair manner to patron, I think, a new way for uh, digital arts and uh, um, uh, for the knowledge about fine arts. Given another impression that than, uh, uh, you are in Europe and I think everywhere as a cultural predator sometimes, <laughs> sorry, uh, uh, if you listen the, just the reaction of the local uh, chairman of the French library, etc., you, 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 you see uh, that it's very difficult for them to understand, in fact, the amazing work you do. Last week at the MCN conference, uh, you had a session about uh, Google and the thumbnails issued from the museum's collection. What a pity to, such, to see such distinguished person arguing on the intellectual property of a vignette just because they don't evaluate the share revenues they could expect it from Google of such an age. So I have a dream. Perhaps we can create together Google Art in three years to sponsor the digitization of uh, all the master masterpieces of uh, art in uh, the storage and on the wall of museums. Uh, I think uh, it concerned 100 museums, and uh, uh, the price of that, uh, the budget of that could be around uh, uh, 35 to uh, uh, 40 million dollars. It is the price of the very bad Picasso. But from that, you could encourage this innovative vision of studying pictorial of uh, artworks, and it is a very profitable call at term around all derived products who don't exist yet, but which will generate revenues and income. If you think to apply the gold rule, the gold rule in this matter, sharing, 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 with all people, institutions, museums, estates, involved in or by the diffusion of the image and the knowledge around them. And this is the reason why all this legacy problem will be uh, 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 resolved, because if you pay, if you share, you can, uh, you can uh, uh, make a, a large consensus of the diffusion of the image with lots of security systems, uh, watermarked, etc., etc. So, I mean, you're talking about sharing it, but you're still going to charge people for access. Yeah, but the, 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 the income will be shared. 
for high resolution, if you want to follow, if you want to, to, to use these images for a university, uh, for a, a, a pitch, a conference, etc., you can pay 10 bucks or 20 bucks for that. Uh, it, it is easy and uh, also you can enter in this uh, knowledge with lots of adverts around this event or around this museum, etc. You know. What is the value? Just, I, I just want to, to open your mind of some, uh, um, of some uh, um, uh, new, new business uh, uh, possible. Look, this is a Fragonar. What is the value of the nuance of this painting for a woman who wants to change her decoration in her flat from this portrait of Fragonard? The yellow for the chairs, the gray for the carpet, the red for the curtains. By just giving to the paint maker, the guy who made the, the painting, the idea of the nuance and an element she wish, because in fact she wants this yellow but in a dark room, you know, without windows, so without uh, windows, without daylight, so she wants the same nuance with an halogen lamp. She will obtain a perfect restitution of her sensible perception of this artwork, and she can pay 50 bucks for that, and it is pure margin. What is the value of the ad around the advert around this painting or this artist automatically generated by uh, Amazon on print and fine arts or last minute who wants to, uh, to propose a trip to the museum with lots of Fragonard? What is the value of the, the new box, like the Getty box? I explained that to the Getty. You know, a nice cube, as the Getty, you can see in the Getty. You go inside this little cube, and you have a, a relaxing massage armchair, an ice cream, and you can grow and inside the painting, listening, because it is Renoir, um, 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 the music of Fauré or Ravel, uh, and uh, have lots of fun and, 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 uh, and uh, you know, enjoyment just to see uh, what you have uh, seen in the reality. And you can pay for that five bucks. I don't know. Or you can have some more uh, advert around this uh, uh, consultation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the value of a digital station uh, pay-per-view for uh, art department of uh, library of uh, university? Last year I came to visit the art department of Stanford and uh, they explained to me that it was not for, for them uh, just to pay uh, $10,000 uh, uh, each year to have access to uh, 18th century uh, uh, paintings data banks with such resolution is not... Uh, is, it, is not wrong for them. They, they think it is interesting to pay for, for this such access of such quality. What is the value of a movie making from one? We can from these data make one movie for uh, with Frag about Fragona with two or three experts. Every image from this multispectral scan has a value, a certification, a usage to generate income and pleasure. So to build this amazing project, we need a strong partnership. The reason why I'm here is to tell you that uh, we can together make the best, largest and revolutionary research image portal for museums, collections about ancient and contemporary artists to become the real leading basement of history of art studies. Once we will have digitized, I think, 10,000 paintings, it will be very profitable. With your patronage, Google Art, as Vuitton made that for uh, the, 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 the big exhibition in Chicago, in Paris, but here on the web, it would be very easier and acceptable by the majority of museums. It would be a perfect answer to those who claim against Google, showing also your ability to encourage and patron arts researches. Beyond image, to manage the knowledge of paintings, of their history, to open the mind of people always constrained, actually, by poor reproduction so far from the reality. It is now, I think, in the digi digital age and knowledge economy, absolutely unacceptable. The reason why I'm here also is to find investors, so it's the reason why I, I, I come in, uh, in the Valley, who could easily understand the development of our project, from acquisition to researches, from diffusion to creation of value, from promotion of a norm as Dolby, for the sound, but here we have Dolby for the color, and we can make this standard for printing and for uh, 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 researches, and uh, um, uh, we have the perfect tool for that. And we can also give the rules for uh, the best definition for screens, for printing, and for uh, choosing things. We have 
next year uh, order on um, uh, printed machines with 42, uh, uh, 24 uh, ink uh, inkjet uh, uh, specification to obtain the best uh, printed uh, and the best gamut, the best definition of colors of the reality. We have the, supplied the best digital capture system in the world of art and for a long time as measurements. We have supplied the smartest browser uh, on PC for a museum to communicate, merging documents, MPEG, pictures, like that. You know, uh, you can put, uh, beside uh, any painting, uh, a video, uh, uh, very easily. And so we can explain, the uh, curator can explain his, uh, his painting just uh, beside the painting. Uh, we can merge in those, these documents with MPEG, with links, with comments, sounds, etc., and advert at the highest definition possible. And behind the painting, giving you the uh, invisible. And uh, uh, um, that is really impressive. And uh, this knowledge passionate uh, people who love art to, to just to see behind the painting how was the painting, etc. So we have proven our abilities and we have to deploy our service. Of course, we will have new legal status of the pixel to argue copyrights are no, not sufficient. At a famous picture agency visited last year in Seattle who told me, <laughs> Corbis, Jean, you change our business model? I answered, no, I go further in the un unlimited way of digital knowledge on scientific basis. It is time to share knowledge outside laboratories and publication letting ignorant, nice people discovering at home or on the fair market wonderful masterpieces of art as I, I, I shown you uh, uh, two minutes before. Um, it is, um, uh, each week we have requests about, about uh, people uh, and such paintings supposed to be a Van Gogh, a Picasso, a Chagall, always recused on the little pictures without any element of comparison just by mail to say no, no. And you have seen the result. We don't want to be experts, we want to deliver the most complete files to experts, increasing their expertise. It is time also online to build the Bureau Veritas for pictorial artwork. You know the Bureau Veritas has uh, all the, the, the ship uh, around the world and the boats and they have uh, a central authorities for that and insurance company will be very interested by collecting this information too. Uh, with all securities and confidentiality process of course. It is time to uh, to give to our children and students the exact reason why Renoir painting without dark and black uh, uh, You know, you don't have dark, any dark in this painting. Only with blue, by letting our children discovering by themselves uh, this uh, uh, new, uh, uh, new, uh, uh, new matter of, about Impressionism. They will enjoy in this true dimension this incomparable movement of art in, in art history. We can now study as never, browsing inside the image and enjoy with a unique pleasure how this painting was made strokes, color palettes of the painter, etc., on site and online. So, um, I think after seeing this kind of painting online, you, 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 you change your mind when you are entering the new in the museum. It is another way for, 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 for understanding. And your net visit in the museum will be more enjoyable because you will also share this pleasure with uh, 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 people around you. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, I think if we, we succeed, uh, we will have uh, made something with fur further us, you know, and this is the reason why I am, I am happy to, to work in this company. Uh, what I know is that uh, I will make it. I don't know with uh, uh, authorities or, or patron, but I will make it. And uh, I wish to, 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 to create a strong partnership, perhaps with you, I hope so, 
to create this Google Heart vision uh, from Europe to New York and uh, here uh, to build something further me, further us in the universal peaceful domain beyond all our different art. So uh, that was that I wanted to, to tell you this morning. Uh, I'm sorry because it is not in a good uh, French, in a good English because I am French and uh, uh, that's not every, all the time easy. But just a detail, this is Mona Lisa and we have discovered just by our uh, software that here, here, this is a detail, you have a minium drop. Minium is the, ye uh, the orange modern <laughs> pigment that you put under the iron to avoid the oxi oxidation. Okay. Perhaps it is the guy, the guy who stole this painting in 1911. Uh, uh, he was a painter. And I think we think that taking the painting in his heart, he had some, uh, you know, uh, uh, minium on his coat, something like that. So we have discovered that. But the, the, you, it's passionate for, for, for people, you know. Mona Lisa is like a goddess in Japan. So imagine the day we will open a website with Mona Lisa, with the Louvre, on pay-per-view. We will have great success. So, and all the experts involved in this, uh, in this um, uh, matter of uh, Mona Lisa, arts, etc., Italian, uh, from Firenze, the Uffizi, etc., are totally uh, amazed by this uh, manner to study. So now, how we can change this world of art together? That's my question. Thank you.